Hey everyone, this is Blenderman911, and this is part 5 in how to make a rounded life bar for your Blender game. In the last part, we were in the middle of making this texture, so let's continue from there. Go to File, Open, and open the image that we rendered in Blender, which is this one. Select your magic eraser and erase all of the background color. Now click and drag this into here and hit Control T to scale or go to Edit Transform Scale. Go to one of the corners, hold Shift to keep the proportions and scale it down. I'm going to make it a little longer. Scale it and place it where you want your character name to be. I'm going to put it about right here. Now on that layer, get your magic wand tool and select around it so that you have the dotted line around the whole oval shape. Add a new layer and on that new layer go to edit, stroke, pixels, I'm going to change it to 5 and select inside. Hit OK. Now on that layer that you just added the stroke, right click and go to blending options. Same thing as before. Go to bevel and emboss. And also I'm going to select texture and stroke. Alright, now with the layer with the oval shape, you could either delete it. Or what I did is I selected it and... I got a different blue color. With the paint bucket tool, I filled in the layer. And then I changed it from normal to multiply. So you could either do that or just delete it. Up to you. Alright, now we need to add the character name. So add a new layer. Go to the text. Select what color you want your character name to be. I'm going to make it white. Make it a little bigger. Now right click that layer. Same thing. Go to blending options. For this one I'm going to select bevel and emboss and also outer glow and change the opacity down a little bit alright so this texture looks fine to me for now if you want to make it different or add stuff go ahead but for me this is going to be fine now we need to put this back into blender and apply it to our object before we do that go down on your layers and go to your life layer you have to either uncheck the eye so that we can't see it or delete the layer because we don't want all these black lines right here on our texture so I'm going to uncheck it now I'm going to get the magnifying glass and zoom back out hold the alt key to zoom back out and now I'm going to save it go to file save as I'm going to change it to PNG I'm going to save it as life display texture 01 Alright, now back into Blender. You could delete the stuff that we added to render out the PNG image. Go back to your life tech or your life display. In UV Im image editor, go to image, open, and open that texture that we just made. Just right here, life display texture 01. Now for you to see it on your object, go from solid view to textured and there it is but now you can see that the faces that we didn't select are white and we want them blue so hit W go to face select mode or not W hit the tab key to go to edit mode and then go to face select mode then hit W select swap and that will select all the faces that weren't selected before now click here and open that the texture that we made, life display texture 01. 
and scale it down and place it around a blue part. And now the parts that were white are now blue. Right here you can see that we could see through here. To fix that, hit tab to go to edit mode and A to select all the faces. Go to the editing tab, select texture face, two side, and copy. Now the texture is going to be on both sides of the faces. Now I'm going to quickly make a texture for the blue mana. So back in Photoshop, go to File, New, 512 by 512. And now get the Rectangular Marquee Tool. Add a rectangle across. Now I want my mana texture to go from dark blue and as it goes to the middle to a lighter blue and then to dark blue again. So to do that I'm going to use the gradient tool. Click and hold on your paint bucket and there should be gradient tool. Now click up here to change the gradient color. So in the middle it's going to be a light blue and on both sides it's going to be a darker blue. I'm just going to make this a little bit darker. All right, hit OK. Make sure you're on linear gradient. And now click and drag across the rectangle and let go. And as you can see, it goes from dark blue and then to lighter blue and to dark blue again. If you want to make it more detailed or better, go ahead, but this will do for me for now. All right, now go to File. Save as PNG. I'm going to save it as Mana Blue 01. Go back to Blender, hit Tab to go to Edit Mode, and U. Unwrap. Go to Image, Open, and open that image. Mana Blue 01. Now just grab this and place it in. Now I'm also going to quickly make a texture for the red one. So go to go back to Photoshop. Get your rectangular marquee tool and add another rectangle here. Go to your gradient tool and change the gradient. This time it's going to be light red and dark red on both sides. So this one change it to a light red. And the two side ones to a darker red. Copy the color number to put it on the other side. And then same thing with the gradient. Click and drag and there. Now just save it over. I'm going to save it over Mana Blue 01. Go back to Blender, select your red plane, tab to go into edit mode, and U, unwrap. Now I'll reopen that image, reload, and place it around the red texture. Alright, so now if we hit P to play, we have our life display texture with our mana and our life. I'm just going to scale this up a little bit. And I'm also going to change the color of this to a darker green. right here. Now if I hit P to play, this is still a little too big. Alright, it's starting to look pretty good. In the next part we will finish this and add our life display to our character scene and that will also be the final part. So I'll see you in part 6.